Dan Campbell and the Lions riding the momentum of a win and a 3 1 start into an early bye week. Campbell praising his team for really the first time all season of playing complimentary football. The offense putting up a season high 42 points. The defense making enough plays, but plenty to clean up while giving up close to 500 yards. A look at how this one went down Monday night. The Lions got going on their second drive. An impressive 12 play, 93 yard drive by Detroit. David Montgomery finishing off with a one yard touchdown run. The Lions defense forces a turnover. Three plays later, Jameer Gibbs from three yards out. Untouched for six, the Lions were up 14 0. Ford Field was rocking. The Seahawks responded. The Lions punch right back. Another impressive drive, nine plays. Gibbs fights his way in from a yard out. Detroit was up 21 7. In the second half, the Lions driving. Ben Johnson calling up a magician play. Dialing up the trick play, Amon Ross St. Brown finds Jared Goff wide open in the end zone. We call that one Alcatraz. Every time Seattle made a run, the Lions responded. Goff finds Jamison Williams. He makes big plays. 70 yards untouched to the house. Detroit went up 35-20. Added another touchdown to go on to win it, 42-29. You know, every game's going to be different, and this is one where really the offense ended up having the big hat, but ultimately, Defense started us out. It was a big stop to start the game. Got it back in the offense's hands. And then situational football before halftime, I thought our defense did a great job. And then the end of the game, man, two huge stops. It's what we're, what we're supposed to be doing, really. I mean, uh, that, that defense um, has done a good job up to this point, and we were able to get after them. And um, you know, I thought we had a good plan. I thought we executed it well. Uh, just for me personally, just trying to make the right play every single snap. And um, we had a good day. We're banged up a little bit. and so. You know, we, we played p pretty physical brand of football. We played some physical opponents these first four weeks, and so I do think it's coming at a good time. And, and look, it's good to get to three. It's good to get to three and one with this bye. We rest up, we heal up, we get fresh again, and then we make a big push. Dan Campbell admitted when he said he first saw the bye week in week five, he wishes it was in late October or early November. Well, with all the injuries the Lions have, he says it's coming at a perfect time. Jared Goff joked, they wish they had another game tomorrow. The Lions offense now continuing to roll in back-to-back -back weeks. At Ford Field with the Lions, Thomas Cook, Fox 17 Sports.